glory be to the lord let us worship god and praise him at the beginning of this new month let us pray o god light of the hearts that see thee life of the souls that love thee strength of the thoughts that seek thee to turn from thee is to fall to turn to thee is to rise to abide in thee is to stand fast forever although we are unworthy to approach thee or to ask anything at all of thee grant us thy grace and blessing for the sake of jesus christ our redeemer amen now let us sing hymn 74 praise to the holiest in the height Let us follow the third order of worship. 
holy 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 lord god of almighty early in the morning our song shall rise to thee holy 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 merciful and mighty god in three persons blessed trinity brothers and sisters we have come together to hear god's most holy word to receive the lord's guidance let us therefore kneel and examine ourselves in silence seeking god's grace that we may draw near to him with repentance and faith let us say the prayer of confession o god of mercy we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone we have not loved thee with our whole heart and mind and strength we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves in thy mercy forgive what we have been help us amend what we are and direct what we shall be so that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways to the glory of thy holy name amen almighty god our merciful savior who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all who forgive their brothers and sisters and with heartfelt repentance and true faith turn unto him have mercy upon us pardon and deliver us from all our sins confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to eternal life to jesus christ our lord amen thanks be to god the lord be with you and with thy spirit let us pray We thank the heavenly Father for the dawn of the new month. Thank you for your blessings and guidance the past four months of this year, two thousand twenty-one. Lord, we seek your presence and guidance as we begin this new month. Be present among us, O Lord. Guide and protect us from all harm and sickness. In Jesus name we pray amen Now let us listen to the reading of the scriptures The first lesson is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 1 to 13 The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 1 to 13 The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron with a point of diamond it is engraved on the tablet of their heart and on the horns of their altars while their children remember their altars and their asherim beside every green tree and on the high hills on the mountains in the open country your wealth and all your treasures i will give for spoil as the price of your high places for sin throughout all your territory you shall loosen your hand from your heritage that i gave to you and i will make you serve your enemies in a land that you do not know For in my anger a fire is kindled that shall burn forever. Thus says the Lord: Cursed is the man who trusts in man, and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see any good come. He shall dwell in the parched places of the wilderness, in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. whose trust is the lord he is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought for it does not cease to bear fruit the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick who can understand it i the lord search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways according to the fruit of his deeds like the partridge that gathers a brood that she did not hatch so is he who gets riches but not by justice 
In the midst of his days they will leave him. And at his end he will be a fool. A glorious throne set on high from the beginning. Is the place of our sanctuary? O Lord, the hope of Israel. All who forsake you shall be put to shame. Those who turn away from you shall be written in the earth. For they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. Here ends the first lesson, praise be to thee, O Christ. Now let us sing hymn 521. I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus, trusting only thee. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall
O Spirit of the Living God, speak to us and help us to listen to your still small voice and to obey your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It gives me great joy to be here with you and to share God's word on this day. Today is the beginning of a new month. Let us look to the Lord for his promise and for his guidance. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Human beings have the tendency to trust and believe in their own self and also they trust in their close family. They also put their trust in their wealth, in their position and in their education and their abilities. But the word of God clearly says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Beyond everything else, God expects us to put our trust in Him and Him alone. That's what this verse says. Dear friends, we long for a blessed life. We bless others saying, may the Lord bless you. God bless you. What is the blessedness that God gives to us? The blessedness is a fruitful life, a life of prosperity and health. And all these are available to those who put their trust in God and God alone. That's why Jeremiah, in his 17th chapter, verse 7, he reiterated, saying, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. If you read the whole passage, there is a contrast. Contrast between the man who trusts in himself or in others and the man who trusts in God. Verse 5 says, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. There are blessings on one side and curses on the other side. This is the covenantal blessing and curse which we read in Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you obey my words and follow my commandments, I will bless you. If you disobey, there will be curse upon you and your family and on your descendants. That's what God said through Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. So in that same pattern, Jeremiah also gives blessings on one side and curse on the other side. And Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 5 and 6 says, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a shrub in the desert and shall not see any good come. He shall dwell in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. The curse is so difficult that a man cannot come out of that curse because he did not trust in the Lord 
but he trusted in human beings when you read psalm 118 and verse says verse 8 it says it is better to put our trust in the lord than upon human beings dear friends at the beginning of this new month where do we put our trust do we trust in human beings do we trust in our wealth in our position in the power or do we trust god nothing can save us except god and particularly we are in the midst of pandemic situation in india the second wave of covid 19 is on the increase every day we hear the news about so many people get infected and so many people are hospitalized and many of them are seriously ill and there is a dearth of beds in the hospitals and demand for the medicine and even for oxygen in this situation what amount of wealth you have what amount of wisdom you have earned and what amount of power and position you enjoy cannot save you but only god can save so put your trust in god and god alone then you can receive the blessing from the lord almighty so on the one side jeremiah says in Je jeremiah 17:5 cursed is the man who trusts in man and on the other side in verse 7 jeremiah 17:7 he says blessed is the man who trusts in the lord whose trust is the lord so if you trust in god god will take care of you god will protect you god will guide you and bless you usually the human beings are of the view that when we say god blesses you it's all prosperity all wealth all health and everything going according to our own wish and our own desires but no not like that god knows what is best for us and according to his will he will bless us that's what jeremiah explains in the next verse please turn with me to jeremiah chapter 17 verse 8 he says that man who puts his trust in the lord will be a blessed person how he is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought for it does not cease to bear fruit what a beautiful analogy jeremiah gives to the person who trusts in god who is blessed by god he is like a tree planted by water because of that running water ever flowing stream the roots are fully fed and till the top of the tree this the string goes and even when heat comes the leaves remain green heat will come yes and drought also will come the next line says but the tree is not anxious and does not cease to bear fruit that means even in drought it will bear fruit good fruit dear friends that is the blessedness time of difficulty will come time of sickness will come time of calamity will happen but we will not fear we will not be anxious because our trust is in god and god alone 
and we can continue to bear fruit for the glory of god when you read this verse it rings the bell it reminds us of psalm 1 the first chapter of the book of psalms we read in verse 3 he is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither in all that he does he prospers that is a blessed person who you see the person who meditates upon the law of the lord day and night that's what verse 2 of psalm 1 says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on his law he meditates day and night that person is compared to a tree planted by the streams of water and that yields its fruit in season and out of season dear friends to receive this blessedness the secret is first of all trust in god secondly delight in the law of the lord and meditate read and meditate the word of god every day and if you do that you can be rest assured of god's blessings and he also bears fruit in season and out of season about fruit bearing the psalmist in psalm 92 verses 14 and 15 says psalm 92 14 and 15 they still bear fruit in old age they are ever full of sap and green to declare that the lord is upright he is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him you will still bear fruit in old age that is the promise in psalm 92 14 you will be ever full of sap and green why to declare that the lord is upright to pronounce his holy name to bear witness to god's goodness and mercy dear friends do you proclaim god's goodness do you witness to others how god has blessed you how the lord has guided you how he has protected you and your family if you do that then you can still bear fruit even in old age and you will be full of sap and green this is the promise of the lord so from jeremiah chapter 17 we learn the lessons not to put our trust in human beings but to put our trust in god and god alone blessed is the man who trusts in the lord whose trust is the lord so trust in the lord secondly read and meditate upon the word of god thirdly bear fruit and witness to the goodness and mercy of the lord then you can be a blessed person do you want to be a blessed person in this month in the month of may in which we experience literally the heat of summer as well as the pandemic situation around us but don't worry don't be dismayed trust in god he will carry you through let us pray blessed is the man who trusts in the lord whose trust is the lord trust in the lord and don't despair he is a friend so true no matter what your troubles are Jesus will see you through 
sing when the day is bright sing through the darkest night every day all the way let us sing 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 god our heavenly father we thank you because you are good and full of mercy we thank you for the presence of emmanuel jesus our savior we thank you for the comfort of the holy spirit who guide us into all truth lord help us to put our complete trust in you not to trust in human beings or in worldly things but to trust in you alone to read and meditate upon thy word and to bear fruit in season and out of season and to witness to your goodness and mercy through which we can live as blessed persons help us lord to trust in you alone in jesus name we pray amen Form our faith through the words of Nicene Creed. Let us say together: We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, Light from Light, True God from True God, begotten, not made. one in being with the father through him all things were made for us all and for our salvation he came down from heaven by the power of the holy spirit he was born of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified and at pontius pilate he suffered died and was buried on the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, who knows our necessities before we ask. and our ignorance in asking we ask thee to have compassion upon our infirmities and those things which for our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask what save to give us for the worthiness of thy son jesus christ our lord amen now let us sing together the wonderful hymn 76 the king of love my shepherd is
let us pray let us spend few moments in silence praying for ourselves for our family and for the needs of others Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you, O Lord, because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, we thank you for your ever-abiding presence with us in times of joy and sorrow, in times of strength and in weakness. Lord, we thank you for enabling us to see. this new month you have guided us and protected us as the apple of your eyes continue to be with us and guide us o lord we pray for every one who watch this program and who say the prayers along with this prayer that you may bless all of them stretch out your mighty hand touch and heal the sick strengthen the weak and lord we pray that you may guide your children in the coming days particularly on this may day we remember all the workers who do hard labor who dare the heat of the sun and who do so many menial works for the good of others we also pray for the laborers in various fields industries and companies and government institutions we pray that you may give them good health strength and protect them and above all we pray that their overseers and masters will be kind to them lord we know how this may day came into being because of the cries of the workers who slogged 12 14 and 15 hours a day that the working hours should be regulated to just 8 hours in a day but now in this 21st century we see the humanity going back making people to slog and work for hours together beyond 8 hours lord we pray that you may correct all this situation we also pray for all those who are down with covid-19 either in hospital or in home lord we pray that you may touch and heal every one of them we particularly remember our near and dear ones who are sick heal them o lord once again we commit our life in your hands help us not to put our trust in worldly things and in human beings but to trust in you that we may read and meditate upon thy word that we may bear fruit and be your witness glorifying your name in and through our lives help us to trust in thee and receive thy blessings in jesus name we pray amen let us say together the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the father and the sweet communion of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and always 
Amen. Amen.